Good evening, 714 family. I hope that you are doing well on this wet Monday. But regardless of the rain, the Lord is with us. Tonight, I want to talk about mediation. Now, the dictionary defines mediation as intervention in a dispute in order to resolve it, meaning arbitration, or intervention in a process or relationship, meaning intercession. You see, I believe as the church, we have been called to mediation. We have been called to praying, to standing in the gap for our nation, for our families, for needs to our God. We, we step in the gap and we learn that from our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Bible tells us in 1 Timothy 2, 5, there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. Now this word in the Greek, mesitis, mesitis means one who intervenes between two, either in order to make or restore peace and friendship or form a compact or ratifying a covenant. You see, Jesus did all of those for us because verse six in this same chapter goes on to say, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. Jesus restored peace and friendship between man and God. He formed a compact or ratified a covenant between God and man with his shed blood. And therefore he modeled for us the type of mediation and intercession that you and I need to do for the need or for the people, for the nation, for the situation and God. We need to stand in the middle and be those mediators, those people who intercede on behalf of or as a go-between. We need to stand in the gap and say, hey, this is where God is and this is where people are. Let's bring the people to God. Or like the Old Testament prophets, let's bring the God of those prophets, let's bring God to the people and let's bring them together. Let's bring peace to the situation because you see, there is going to be no lasting peace without Jesus Christ. There's gonna be no forgiveness of sin without Jesus Christ. There's gonna be no coming together of God and mankind without Jesus Christ. And so I am just want to encourage you as a believer to stand in the gap of intercession, to stand in the gap of the needs of other people, to stand in the gap of the needs for our nation, those of us that are watching from the U.S. or in your particular state, since there are people on from various states. Let's Stand in the gap between the need, between the people, between our nation, and even sometimes between the sides, even though I hate to use that word, we need to be peacemakers or peacekeepers. We need to be the ones who bring people together by bringing the need and the people to God. So that's what I want us to do tonight. I want us to be people of mediation. Now see this passage, this verse that I read to you tonight, it doesn't just randomly sit in the text. It comes from the context of prayer and intercession. In verse one of 1 Timothy two, therefore I exert, I exhort you, excuse me, I exhort you uh, first of all, that supplication, prayers, intercessions, and giving thanks be made for all men, for kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. 
For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. And then it goes into, for there is one God and right one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. So from the context of prayer, let's you and I tonight begin to intercede on behalf of the needs that we know. First, let's just start with our family, with the needs we know, people we know who need prayer for sickness, to be healed, those that might have been uh, exposed to the COVID or have contracted the COVID or the coronavirus. So Father, right now, we come to you on behalf of our families, those who might be sick, those who might be um, in need of prayer, those who might be in need of healing. We come to you, God, tonight for those who are lost, for those who need salvation, for those who need Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, for our family members, whether that be husbands or wives or children or parents or aunts or uncles. God, we stand in the gap right now and we pray that you would reveal yourself to them as Lord and Savior. Father, we also ask for our cities, for our municipalities, our communities, for our counties, for our states, and for our nation. Father, that people would see you, Jesus Christ, as the answer. We stand in the gap and we make up the hedge and we ask that people would see you and find you as the answer to life's dilemmas. It's not found in an elephant. It's not found in a donkey. It's found in a lamb. And that lamb is the, is the lamb, Jesus Christ, who was slain from the foundation of the world. With that in mind, I want us to enter in to our communion meal. I want you and I to come into this place of mediation knowing that Jesus has mediated for us, that he stood between us and God and he mediated for our sins and he paid the price. That's what that word ransom in verse six means. It means that which was given in exchange for another as the price of his or her redemption. So Jesus Christ paid the price for us. He stood in the gap between heaven and earth, hanging on that cross, and he paid the price for our eternal salvation. Therefore, because of him, we can do what Hebrews 4, 16 says. We can go boldly into the throne of grace and we can obtain mercy and we can find grace to help in a time of need. So we intercede from that point of saved people. So Lord, right now, in the name of your son, Jesus, we lift up the bread and we lift up the juice. And we pray right now that as we receive this anew and afresh in our lives, that we are reminded of your mediation for us and our needed mediation for our families, for our friends, for our relationships, and for our nation. We do it right now. We receive it right now in Jesus' name. Would you break and receive the bread? Would you also lift up the cup and receive the cup? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a, a chorus, and I can't remember all of it, but it says, you made a way, you made a way, where there was no other way, you made a way, would you just worship him and thank him, that he not only made a way for you, but he made a way for your family members, that he made a way for those that you stand in the gap for, those that you are interceding for right now, that he made a way for them. And would you just begin to thank him? Oh God, we thank you that they are saved, 
that they are healed, that they are delivered, and that they are going to be translated out of the kingdom of darkness and transferred into the kingdom of light, the kingdom of your dear son. We thank you in advance for those answers to prayer. We thank you in advance for all of the intervention you are going to do on behalf of our nation. And we give you the praise and the thanks for it. In Christ's name, amen. Twyla and I love you. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow night at uh, 714 right here on my Facebook page. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Continue to worship, pray, whatever is on your heart to do. Be released to do that now in Christ's name. Good night.